celebrate the holidays this year, Bianca sat down with Agape founder Reverend Dr. Michael Beckwith, featured in the hit movie, The Secret. Dr. Beckwith is an internationally acclaimed visionary, respected by spiritual leaders worldwide, including the Dalai Lama, and was recently featured on Oprah and Larry King Live. In honor of Thanksgiving, he shared his philosophy on the true meaning of gratitude. During this particular season of Thanksgiving, it's always an opportunity for people who have a spiritual practice to use other people's focus on Thanksgiving to, for them to go deeper in their practice. Uh, we don't need a national day to give thanks, particularly when it's around uh, mythic things of pilgrims and Native Americans and the, the, the tragedy that came out of that meeting. Um, but the idea that people are stopping and giving thanks is very powerful, it's very wonderful. We take that energy, it's called high tide. When you're in high tide, all boats float in high tide. So when you have millions of people in a nation being grateful, there's a certain uh, vibration that's in the air that we can now use to go deeper into our practice of God and the presence and love. And we all sort of get the theory of the yeah. law of attraction. No, I get it, okay, you know, give love, you give love. But doing that every day, you know, when you're faced with people that you don't like, when you're dealing with your boss, when you're dealing with your husband, and all the, the situations that yes. sort of take you out of your center, yes. how do you actually apply it? It's always available, absolutely. But people, as you indicated, are not tapping into it. They're externally focused. So if you become internally focused and, and hold the space of gratitude, then guess what? The externals change. Gratitude is a state of consciousness, it's a state of mind where individuals in high appreciation and thankfulness. You can be uh, grateful and thankful for a particular thing, or you can just ultimately, when you mature, you're just in the consciousness of gratitude, regardless of the condition. Now, when an individual matures to that level, conditions bend around that vibration. So it is simultaneously a spiritual practice, and it is a law of manifestation. So when people begin to uh, have a practice of being grateful and thankful and appreciative for their life and the people in it and the events that are going on, more things to be grateful uh, begins to flow through them. You want to practice gratitude, thanksgiving and appreciation, even when you don't feel like it. Now, when you don't feel like it and you allow for that emotion to carry you down the wrong track, that's called emotional reasoning. It means you've allowed the emotions to drive your actions, which means you've given up your power. So you wake up every single day and you ask, how can I practice this? How can I practice gratitude? How can I practice forgiveness? How can I practice generosity? And then the universe will answer that question and keep bringing in front of you ways of practicing it. Sometimes the people in front of you that are getting on your nerves is you calling forth a deeper understanding of patience and love and compassion and kindness that you wouldn't get if that individual wasn't in front of you. You wouldn't, it's like going into a weight room. You know, this theory is I can go over there and lift up that weight. Theoretically, I can do 15 curls, right. but it's not gonna put any a density on my muscles or make me any healthier. The practice is I go pick it up and I do it. So theory, I wanna be in gratitude, I wanna be in forgiveness, I wanna be in love. So this person shows up. Theoretically, I should forgive them. Theoretically, I should practice love and kindness and patience. If I don't do it, I'm not developing the skillful means and I'm not developing the spiritual muscle. Doesn't mean you're gonna uh, be successful every time, doesn't mean you're not gonna stumble along the way, but you're gonna be falling forward. Whereas if you don't do anything, you're falling backwards. How do we sort of bring that into very practical things that, that people can do just every day? Very simple. You begin to count your blessings. Right now, most, a lot of people, they don't count their blessings, they count the obstacles, they count the obstructions, they count and begin to make strategies as to how they're gonna solve certain external problems. But if you count your blessings first, and as that becomes a habit, you begin to notice more and more blessings that heretofore you weren't even aware of. So what happens is your mind becomes a blessing field rather than a minefield of negativity. And when you become a blessing field, uh, which is a strategy, uh, when you become a blessing field, uh, there's much more power you have access to. That is very simple. simple. You don't need to be a genius to begin to count blessings. But once it begins to be a habit, your life changes in a very affirmative and wonderful.